which is not allowed at the airport. Sorry? That is not allowed at the airport. What? Sorry, what is not allowed? Filming in any manner is not allowed at the airport. Or filming in any manner. Uh, if you're saying goodbye, Johnny, hey, selfie, yes, that's fine. Your manner of filming is not allowed at the airport.
recording it. Um, so you must have made a decision to record it for some reason, which only you know, but you don't have to answer that. Right. Uh, I mean, she'll do her best, but I don't think she can provide mm. an answer for me. Which gets answer that question? Oh, you can ask me the question again. You said, that you said I was recording for my own personal gain. Why else would you be recording people in the public? The same reason there's recordings in the airport. Oh, I see. For my security. Uh, 
the, the direction was that the male forming, such as yourself, was being disorder, disorderly and disrupting the uh, processes of the, the flights, uh, the jet star flight staff and members of the public in the queue. Is it against the rule to form in public, to record in public? Not in public, however, the airport is a private place used by the public. It is that the airport building is closed at night, the public are not permitted to be in there, and the airport is owned by the airport company, therefore private. So is it open 24 hours, seven days a week? Not that building, no. It closes uh, and it gets locked up, nobody is in that building overnight, the domestic terminal. The international terminal, yes, is open 24-7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's open to the public, so does that make it a public place? What we were that day? Yes. Uh, it's a private place, but used by the public. It is not a public place. You were speaking with Senior Consul Schuster, however you had 
your camera directed at me and in your face yes i consider it in my face and yes so in my uh, personal space as a person it's just that you know i'm standing close to aaron but yet my hand is still bent that it's not extended like you say to your face you're probably 800 millimeters away not a judge of saying how far but it, i consider it was in my personal space Whether you were 50 metres away and still filming me, I would still ask you to stop filming me. As my right, as human. Mm -hmm. um, as your right. Yes, as the jet star woman. And what rights that I have on that day, which I've tried to explain we're to you. We're talking about distance. I'm, I'm, I'm there asking the questions, not you. Since you brought it up. My, I take up, it's my decision as to whether I love the question and continue or not. And I, uh, I am, and her answers. So, so I'm to ask her, answer her question? I didn't ask her. No, she's question. not asking you a question, she's answering yours. She, she just said it. Well, she I'm not getting out of it, but she's explained yeah. that she would get, no matter what the distance, she regarded you as being in her physical space. I told her. I'm just trying to understand your. system reporting in public that there's no law against it, but yet we seem to have this delusion that you know that I film in public, yet on every single occasion I've seen on YouTube, people are filming in public. If you do not want to be in that recording, you remove yourself. I was a police officer sent to the disorderly male at the airport. I was not, even if I wanted to, I would not remove myself from that because I was doing my duty and as far as I, I was concerned, I was being hindered greatly by your manner. What was I the law disorderly at the time when you turned up? Leaning over the counter with your phone, filming the Jetstar lady, yes. Uh, leaning over the other member of the public while she's trying to organise her ticket, yes. Um, and then yet quite, being quite loud and obnoxious, saying, you can't touch me, and just general manner was, yes, I consider you at that point to be at the beginning of disorderly behaviour. And like I said, I have been asked to go to the job to a disorderly man, uh, man to, so uh, it and then once so I was there, after the fact, I went about doing my investigation to get my evidence together for uh, the incident. So, so you weren't caught because the gentleman was recording the Yes, moment. yes. Disorderly. You were caught because I was being disorderly. I was called to the job disorderly male recording members of the public and workers, which is not allowed at the airport. Sorry? That is not allowed at the airport. So what is not allowed? Filming in any manner is not allowed at the airport. Or filming in any manner? Uh, if you're saying goodbye, Johnny, hey, selfie, yes, that's fine. Your manner of filming is not allowed at the airport. What, what kind of manner is it? Disorderly manner. Which was, was I obstructing from it? Obstructing my duty when asking you to move on and filming me is disorderly. An element of disorderly. Because I denied you. Likely right. to entice violence, could be, or, um, yeah. Mr. King, I find you sniggering a little bit off putting. And ma'am, if I may say, Mr. King is sniggering at my comments. Yes, well, I heard you too, Mr. King. Um, there can be anything, any movement or noise that can be made by somebody sitting next door as an assistant to the, per to the defendant who's crossing that as an witness may be misconstrued, so I'd ask you please to be silent. Certainly, <laughs> Unless you're speaking um, to um, the defendant and assisting them. 
but your response to the witness's um, answer was that uh, you know, could be regarded as an appropriate answer. Oh, I, I apologise, Your Honour. That's I, fine. I found I it somewhat you, amusing. I apologise. I've made the point, um, so we'll move right along. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Did you attempt to grab my phone? Uh, I consider that I attempted to redirect your hand away from filming me. And I asked you to stop several times. Regarding the question, um, am I obliged to what she asked? Uh, am I obliged to, to what? To what she asked regarding please stop recording. Am, am I obliged to decline that question that she had asked? Yeah. Decline the, 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 the She asked her to stop recording. To stop recording. Yes. To yes. Uh, I okay. So there, there's there's several incidences at the airport where people might be filming. Uh, um, so yes or no? No. You're not allowed to say that. She's answered. Don't interrupt when she's answering the question. Right. When she's completed the answer, you can then ask her, instead of interrupting her, you can then ask her, what that mean to you or no? That's not there's several incidences at the airport and several areas um, where you may see people filming and when, as my role, I, I say, uh, could you please stop filming, it's not allowed at the airport, uh, the person will say, oh sorry about that, and they put their phone away. Um, however, in this case it was a different scenario, yourself, uh, totally declined and wouldn't uh, oblige in any way, even with reasoning. So uh, you may ask the question that I'm obliged to follow direction. Uh, most people do because they are obliging and they're uh, happy to cooperate with police. <coughs> so, so, am I obliged to? So am I obliged to comply with your request? You chose not to, and that's why we went down the track of uh, you know, what, you, what you recorded further and what your wife recorded as well. So was that yes or no? Well, I can't really answer what whether a person is obliged or not, because that's, that's like a, a human uh, you know, you can be an obliging person, a very helpful, agreeing person, or you can be an obnoxious, uh, rude, declining, and uh, yeah, just not not able to put yourself out of the situation and um, follow a person's direction. That's my answer. You chose not to. And when you're talking about obliging, that's a person's manners. And most have manners and most do oblige, but you chose not to oblige. So you're saying I've got no manners? I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. It's an question. I didn't say that.
Um, who will trespass? What are the correct steps to a lawful trespass? Trespassing myself. Yep. Um, you're asked you're asked to leave, you're asked to move on. A person declines, and a person is told they, they, they could be trespassed, that then they are trespassed, and then when they still decline to move, then they can be arrested for trespass. Justified that you got physical um, first. Was that reasonable and justified? Have I testified that I got physical? Sorry, when was that? During the questioning. Sorry, who questioned me about being physical? Prosecutor. I don't think so. I don't understand either. No. Well, there's a bunch to redirect my hand or break my phone. Um, do you not call that physical? As I've been questioned at that point. I don't know that's a good well, there's no issue she did reach out for the phone, is it right? Yes, I redirected his hand. I attempted to get a bit away from my face. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, how much time did you give me to leave between warning me and arresting me? Arresting me. I didn't take stock of the time, but as far as I'm concerned, it was reasonable and under the circumstances. Uh, it, I felt we needed to be moved on quite quickly so that the airline could continue operating and get the people rebooked onto another flight or how they, whatever they were doing for their work. Uh, are you aware that it was only 47 seconds? It passed? No, I wasn't. Like I said, I didn't take stock of the time. Does that length of time seem reasonable? Under the circumstances, yes, because you needed to be removed from the area as you had been disorderly, disruptive, hindering, and need were trespassed, you needed to be removed so that the airline could continue to operate. Hmm. Uh, when on the video does it show me hindering, hindering the public, being disorderly? Well, you'd have to play the video and that's good to point out. I'd just like to say, Mum, that the hindering is hindering my duties. Yes, all right. Yes. You don't the yes. yes. And disorderly is. Um, oh, you want me to answer that too? When were you disorderly? Mm -hmm. As far as your video is concerned? Mm -hmm. Or the whole. Okay, as far as your video is concerned, uh, in the circumstance of the elderly gentleman, the one you referred to as Blinky Bill, etc. Uh, that's extremely disorderly. It's not the normal behaviour of how a person would be. Would, 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 would you finish the question of where to write? Yeah. Yeah, he asked you to um, move along because you were, he, his consideration from your video only, because I've not met the man, is that uh, you, you know, were hindering the airline process and annoying everybody and you were um, disorderly when you were filming the Jetstar operations manager when she was trying to do her duties. You were disorderly and leaning across the 
other members of the public over the counter. You were disorderly when you were being obnoxious towards uh, myself, being argumentative. That's yes. Argumentative or trying to explain my words? Argumentative, just declining every request and then declining every direction. Which I, which I, which I have a right not to accept? No, you don't. Not at that stage. I have no right to accept this or decline. Did you before you start arguing with her? You put questions not have an argument, uh, wait for the answer and then ask another question. Okay. But this is not a, this is not this is a question and answer, not an exchange of views, if you know what I mean. Right. Yes. I'm trying to ask questions, but not to. Uh, to answer that. Hmm. Uh, why did you pull my handcuffed hands apart, causing me pain when trying to open a car door? Uh, I don't quite understand what you're saying about pulling your hands apart. Um, no, so I don't understand that question. But from what I can see from the video is that we were on, I was on your left, Constable, Senior Constable Schuster was on your right, and when I went to open the door, you yanked me from doing that because you continue to use your body to sway me, uh, to swing me. Well, because I was in pain, because the handcuffs... No, let me finish the question. Right. Sorry, I'm just trying to reply. No, 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 it's not... Thank you. This is not a, you know, it's not for you to sort of back back and answer on the chance of finishing your question. Right. The answer to your question. So let me finish the answer to your question, pause, and then ask the next question. Okay. The next question. Sorry, Karen. Because it's important we all hear what she says and then hear what you say when you ask the next question. So yeah. Um, I didn't hear you complain about the pain other than when we were attempting to cuff you uh, around the corner before walking to the car. Uh, so I consider you didn't complain at that time when I was trying to open the car door at all. But you did go yank me back like that, uh, and if that hurt you, well, and how you were handcuffed is the everyday common way that you were handcuffed. So if you did experience pain, which you never spoke of at the time, then you inflicted it upon yourself because you used my body weight, your body weight, for my body weight round, and that's quite clear in there. You did that several times. Right, okay, but the cuffs were not on you, they were on me, correct? Eventually. Our interest, the heads were adjusted, I told him that they were too tight. He readjusted it, which is the footage shows that. That's quite a common practice for us prior to putting a person in the police car to double lock them so that they don't become tight on the person's wrist and what conversation you had with Senior Consul Schuster about those handcuffs, I have no idea. I think he was still talking to me actually at the time uh, when he was doing that. Yes, because yes, that's when I was uh, writing things in my notebook. He was still yelling at me over something mm. at that time. Yeah. You said I yanked you back when you tried to open the door where you were, you were pulling my hands that were handcuffed. Oh, I consider from the video anyway, from what I can see, is that there were there was plenty of room for me to reach for the door because I reached out myself. But you yanked me back, so and you never complained about it hurting you at that time, and I reiterate that. You never Ever, you didn't complain. You never said to me, 
you just yanked my arm, you never said anything. You say you attempted to read me my rights when I was saying, who are you? Where is that showing in the video? Of oh, you yelling at me, is it? Or, sorry? Should I Where's what showing in the video? You say you attempted to read me my rights when I was saying, who are you? Where is that showing on the video? You attempting to read me my rights? Yes, I recall that I was verbally trying to tell you your rights. I did not read them because I would have to get my notebook out and read them from our mem a memoir. However, I recall trying to recite them to you, but that's when you yelled at me, who are you, who are you? So that would have been on recording? You tried to recite them to me? I think it, I don't know if it's on your recording, but I recall trying to say them to you at that time. Yeah. As, as, <coughs> Thirteen minutes, fifty-three seconds. Thirteen. Yes. That was thirteen fifty here. For what? Why? Excuse me. Ask them why they're arresting me. Hey, look. If he speaks to his son, he will calm him down. Ask please, them why please, they're arresting please. me. You're Ask them why they're arresting me. Trespassing. What have me. I done wrong? You are asking By whom? Me. By whom? Trying to By get me. to Queenstown? Please, please. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Okay, come on, come on. Please, bring, turn that off. Tell oh, son, I'm not tell son to bring Mark. No, no, don't turn it off. No, I can't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Film the police. Film the police. This is the whole reason why you film the police. Now, was there any indication you were trying to read my rights on that part of the video? I can't hear what I'm saying to you because you're yelling over the top of me, so I can't tell you. That's but I that recall was not attempt to read my rights. Yeah, I recall I, I did attempt to tell you your rights, advise you of your rights. Yeah. yeah. If you hear my wife speaking, if you attempted to read me my rights, it would have picked it up on the footage. Don't know. Thank mm -hmm. you. 